Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at you with another video. So I'm going to do a short video, or semi-short, yeah, just short, um, video, and I want to explain some stuff to you guys. So anyway, um, as you guys know, this is a 92 with a 2004 or 2005 um, body kit, you know, the tank and all that, and the fenders and side cover. And uh, yeah, well hold on. There we go. Get you guys into the stand and uh, get talking with you. So anyway, so anyway, I wound this bike back to 1996 to 2001. Those are the uh, the bikes that I'm talking about now. This video right here is actually going to be just tagged um, for a Kawasaki KE 100s um, because you guys are the ones who are uh, using this particular setup. So this video is for those who have a 1996 to 2001 Kawasaki KE100 with CDI ignition. Okay. Now in the videos I have showed you in the past, use the black plug. Here's the plug number right here, B A E S, and um, to replace the blue plug, the um, B P uh, the B R H E S. Okay. So we're gonna take that plug out and replace it with a BAES okay now when I told you guys this I forgot that you guys have this style cap okay what I mean by cap is this right here on top of your plug okay now you're gonna have to replace it with an older one and I'm gonna explain to you guys why so if you put the black writing plug on your engine the spark is going to jump. It's going to be consistent. All right. It's not going to like you know when you're checking for spark, you can actually see it flash. It goes once, flash, two, flash, three, flash. If you use the black plug with the original cap setup, it's going to look like just one continuous spark, like there's no brakes in it. Now the motor will run fine, um, but you'll probably have a little hesitation and a little bit of bogging. Okay, and that is because the the um, there's no resistance. Okay, so you, what to do is you got to get one from an older KE 95 and below. This cap has a resistor built into it. Now these come in two different versions. Okay, one will accept the newer style um, tip, and some of the other ones you have to unscrew the tip to put it in, and it'll lock on. Okay, so if you want to convert properly your bike over to the black writing plug from a blue plug what you have to do is take this off slide this off take this piece off this is the little uh, this is not a resistor by the way this is just a tip replace the spark plug put the black one in the motor Slip this on and then screw it into place until you can't screw it no more. Then put it on your plug and you'll be good to go. Because that tip has a resistor built into it. So and it'll allow you to run properly the black writing plug. Sometimes I forget things like this, I apologize. But <coughs> Nevertheless, I got a lot of good questions. A lot of people texted me, asking me questions about their bikes. Um, I have the other style of this I'm going to be using, so I'm not going to put either one of these back on. I did this just for the video, and there is a blue plug in here because that's what I was using for the video, so I can keep this one out. This one I have to put back in. I'll do that later on, so I'll leave that stuff all there. Um, so anyway... I've been getting some really, really great questions. And you guys have been absolutely amazing asking them. So, that's what it is. So, the blue plug is coming out. I'm putting the black one back in with the resistor tip. Um, and also, too, when you're checking your coils and you have a resistor tip on there, make sure you unscrew the resistor tip or you're going to get a totally different reading. Okay? Um, one question I got... Can these go bad because they are a resistor tip? I would say yes. I just happen not to have ever seen one. So 
Just because I haven't seen one doesn't mean they don't go. However, it is possible. So, we got that coming up. There we go. So, we got that done. <coughs> I have got some ignition systems that I am working on getting done for these bikes for the points ignition systems. Um, I am working on one for the uh, a CDI for the older ones, all retrofit. So, we got, we got some stuff going on, guys. I have to say, I've ridden this bike. i got to take you for guys for a ride with me. I haven't done that yet. Um, this bike is awesome. It's loud, but it is very, very quick. That exhaust modification turned out great. It turned out absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, and also, too, when I did the exhaust video, I told you guys about engine paint. Here's the paint I used. I'll show you guys this. This is it right here, just engine paint. I got this, it's uh, up to uh, 550 degrees, and it worked out really, really well. And you can use it on the entire engine. As you can see, I painted a little bit. So, feel free, get some engine paint, paint up your engine, it comes out nice. <coughs> I did not use gloss, I used satin, uh, satin black, well faded, you know, this is the KM exhaust, I hit that real quick. So, just wanted to uh, share this little video with you guys. Say thank you for all your subscriptions and all your help with everything. You know, the subscriptions, the uh, comments. Those are big helps, guys. I really appreciate them. So I just wanted to put this out there so you guys would know what you have to do on a 96 to 2001 to convert your coil over to a black plug. If you have a 95 and earlier and you're using a blue plug... That is the wrong plug for your bike. Take it out, put a black one in there. And remember, if you have this style right here, this takes a black lettered plug. So if you look on the plug, black lettering, okay? If you have this style cap, you need a resistor plug. Those are your only two options. See, you can see it right on my bike. Yeah. See, even my Yamaha Virago. Same thing, black lettered plug. Okay. So, keep that in mind. That's what you got to do. Anyway, guys, I'm off. I just wanted to do a quick video. Explain to you guys why you need to do that conversion. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Anyway, guys, I'll be talking to you guys later. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye.